Pick up six clear plastic punch bowls from Dollar Tree. Cut a round hole in the bottom of each punch bowl and then glue the bowls together top to top with hot glue. Take the six attached bowls and then glue the bases of the bowls together so that you have three bowl balls stacked vertically. Take an LED fairy light strand, wrap the string lights around a wood dowel and thread them through the center holes. Distribute the fairy lights into each bowl. Place the bowl stack on top of a planter of choice. Hot glue the bow, pine cones, and Christmas ornaments to the top of the bowls. Plug it in, and there you have it, a cheap way to create your own easy Christmas decorations for your home. I want to wedge this in really, really tight. I want to trim it to just beneath. I'm going to push this down into the styrofoam. So I have my large styrofoam ball here, and I'm going to push this one all the way down to the bottom. What I'm going to use now is S-pins. We'll start with this top one up here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take those green pins and I'm going to secure this. I'm going to unwrap this and I am going to start with this down in the bottom of my pot. I'm going to go ahead and I've got all kinds of evergreen and Christmas picks and just add those in. And I'm going to fluff it and just add it. And the next thing we're going to do is add our holly just like we did below. I'm going to finish adding all of these berries. I'm just going to add some brown paint to it. And here is our topiary all decked out with a matching wreath by the front door ready for the holidays. I am going to grab a couple of these pool noodles. I'm going to take some craft paper and I'm going to cut it into strips. Take them and wrinkle them up. Take a pool noodle and I'm going to cut these into some different lengths. And then I'm going to take some Mod Podge. I'm going to take these strips of paper and then just cut. Paint some of the Mod Podge right onto the end of my pool noodle and then just wrap that paper and we do want to overlap them. And now when the whole thing is finished, you can go and put an entire coat of Mod Podge over the entire thing. I'm just going to paint it with white acrylic paint. And I put two coats of paint on them. I need to cover this end. So I'm going to go ahead with my low temp glue, put that on the end. I'm just going to go ahead and paint the ends of this. And then I'm going to start to add some interesting texture to the logs with paint. This is a plastic pot and I have filled it with some styrofoam and I'm just going to wrap this around. So I've gotten several more variety of evergreen picks. You can find what you like and now it's time to add our birch logs. I can stick a dowel rod right up in there and I can just stick these right down in the styrofoam. Look how beautiful this turned out. It adds so much to my fireplace. The first thing I'm going to do is turn one of my bowls upside down. Obviously, we're gonna take our tag off and then I'm going to take my glue gun, just going to gently push with a hot, high temp, old glue gun, and it's going to melt a hole right through our bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna make a circle of these holes. When you have your holes all in a circle, you just want to try and melt that part right between them so that it'll pop out a big circle for you. And there we have it, enough. It's melted. Again, be careful that you don't crack your bowl. And you've got a good size hole, and I'm just going to sand off those rough edges. So I have finished with all of my bowls. That's five of this one and four of this one. I'm gonna start with one of these bowls first. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to feed these through the hole, but our battery pack is going to go under here, and I'm gonna want a couple of lights down inside the base, and then I'm going to bundle this back up again. Now I have my second bunch, same thing. The battery pack is going to go under here, and I'm going to just put these right through the same hole. And now we're going to add one of our large bowls like so. Now I have this bowl on top of this one. I'm just going to add a bead of the adhesive right around the top here. And then we're just going to secure 
that bowl right to the bottom bowl. When you're confident that your adhesive is dry and that these are glued together well, so you can pick one up, then we're going to take our second large bowl and we're gonna do the same thing. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my second bunch. And I'm going to put a bead of it around here so that I can secure these two bowls to one another. To get my little lights to stay, what I'm going to do is I have this clear waterproof floral tape and I'm going to tape some of those lights. So I have two lights from each of my strands and I'm just going to put that waterproof clear tape right across there to keep those right up in the top. But I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to make sure that that is centered and we have a little top on our beautiful lighted tower. I'm gonna to take this plastic tray and put it beneath my tower of lights. Before I left the Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of these uh, glitter drapes, they call it, but it's the cotton with some glitter on it. I'm just gonna open this up. I'm gonna cut some of this and put it down around the bottom. And look how pretty that is and how it glows at night. And make some of these for yourself for Christmas this year. So for the base of this project, I'm using an apple basket. And in the bottom of this, we're just gonna put some rocks. Now inside the basket, I'm just gonna take a flower pot. Now we're gonna place the tomato cage. I'm just gonna use a couple of zip ties to attach the handles of the apple basket to the side of the tomato cage. We're gonna pull the top up here together, so actually the bottom of the tomato cage, and use a little floral wire to twist around there and hold it together. Starting at the bottom, we're going to use just sections of inexpensive garland like this to wrap our topiary. Now we'll come back and kind of fluff all these pieces up to make it look like a nice full topiary. So we're just gonna take a set of white lights and string these around the tree. So I'm going to start with some pieces of this wired silver ribbon. We're gonna take some floral picks and we're just gonna stick these in around the tree. Can also use some other greenery like this, kind of a frosted look, and some pine cones. I hope you are inspired to go create your own DIY topiary. First, grab a plastic pot and a tomato cage. Cut down the tomato cage to size. Next, weigh down the pot with a large rock, brick, or other filler. Then, attach the tomato cage. After that, grab a pipe cleaner and cut it in half. Pinch together the top of the tomato cage and twist around to create a point. Next, add some LED lights. You'll want to make sure they're LED to avoid a fire hazard. After that, grab some green deco mesh. Pinch it together and attach with pipe cleaners. After that, grab a red bow and thread pipe cleaners through it to tie to the top of the tree. Next, grab some ornament hooks and add them to the bulbs, twisting them into the deco mesh. These little trees are the perfect way to brighten up your front porch or a dark corner of your home that needs a little holiday cheer. After Christmas, remove the green deco mesh for a winter tree. Removing the deco mesh and bulbs is easy since the bulbs are twisted into the mesh. It comes off in one piece. All you have to do is twist off the pipe cleaners. Next, reattach the top of the cage using a white pipe cleaner. After that, twist on white deco mesh just like we did with the green. Add a white bow and some snowflakes for a winter tree that will last all season. I hope this inspires you to brighten up your home this winter with these cheerful topiaries.